Hello friends and welcome aboard the Wonder of the Seas. Today we are taking you on an entire ship tour of this beautiful ship here. Gonna take you forward to aft, all the decks, all the public spaces, what you need to know before you come on board yourself for your cruise vacation. Let's waste no time and get started here. We're up on the pool decks right next to the water slides. Who's ready for some action? This ship has a lot of chill and a lot of thrill, so let's get to it. Here is the sweet sun deck currently standing in one of the waiting areas. So nice. So you can lounge half in the water. This one's much deeper to sit in the water. Pop into the shade here as well. And this area is for those guests staying in star or sky class suites. So they're right on this deck and get access into this space. You get a great view of looking down onto the kitty area, the abyss, the basketball court, some action down below. There is an entire bar here as well and very lovely to hang out in. So here we are in the suite lounge. It is so pretty and grand in here. The color scheme with the gold tones and the navy blues, very, very pretty. And additionally, we have your special machines, all the snacks and beverages that you could want as uh, some light bites with cookies as well for you to enjoy. And additionally, on the other side of the suite lounge here is Coastal Kitchen. This is the restaurant which has an exclusive menu just for suite guests. So not only do you have an incredible view of the aft of the ship, we just saw someone zip line down. You have the Wonder of the Seas sign there from the boardwalk. So beautiful to see this as you dine here. I actually have dined in Coastal Kitchen previously. Highly recommend the steak, everything is delicious. Really beautiful space for you to come and enjoy. Here is the Social 100, a patio for ages 13 to 17. And the entrance is actually down there, but we're at a side entrance. So you can kind of see a peak of it. Cool little twinkly lights on the side there and lots of lounge spaces, but we're right next to the water slides here. So climb on one more flight of stairs here and you have all of the water slides and we're looking down from here into central park all right so here we have a lot of the pool action fun beautiful colors feeling those vacation vibes already so we have the big toilet bowl slide if you will of course they have fun names for all of the twisting slides and of course i love the clear portions as you pop on through you do have to jump on to those slides or climb on up rather one deck below here but as we're going to take you on through you can see all the amazing aspects of why we love this ship and first one other reason on the pool deck here is these uh, casitas here so the casitas are kind of cool you can reserve these here this one is actually named palms park this one is pina colada alley love that super fun so if you're looking for a little shade action throughout your cruise you can uh, score those great spot to hang out for a sea day you can see a lot of action here splash away bay across the other side we'll show you that as well deck 16 forward here we have hooked seafood so yummy yummy spot if you enjoy your seafood if you're into all of that we'll take a look at the venue here so here we are in this venue so in the evening it's not as bright it's a little bit more romantical if you will here but really cute space you can see all of the views down into the solarium directly below us is actually the solarium bistro and then on the outside you have the solarium bar and then the uh, all of the solarium outside here so kind of like shares the same air here within this side we have the bar 
if you're a seafood lover, this is one spot that you would want to enjoy and uh, make sure that you check out here on The Wonder. The decor is super cute as well. Deck 16, El Loco Fresh here. Walk on over to the side. We have the arcade as well. El Loco Fresh is one of my faves with all of the yummy burrito, make your own burrito, quesadilla options. Really quite yummy. And then they have some desserts in the case as well. And then they have the fixings for the salsa bar here. So add in your salsa, your guac, lettuce, pickles, all that good stuff, and your hot sauces. Here we have Cantina Fresca, an extension of a local fresh with this bar here. So some handcrafted margaritas. Enjoy some uh, open air dining. And then you can do a bit of putt-putt in this area with the family play area which is so cool. So this is probably my favorite putt-putt as uh, how nice and intricate and big uh, the sea creatures are for all of that fun. We're also looking onto the zip line as well here. So you can zip on over Central Park. No, excuse me, the boardwalk down below us, which we'll show you as well. So very very cool and then if you care to uh, take a ride down to the boardwalk is the ultimate abyss so that is a dry slide that twists and turns that big purple creature staring right back at us is the ultimate abyss but first i'm going to show you a little bit of this playscape here so different uh areas here where you can uh climb into and take a look at the footing here so little uh bouncy bouncy climb on through here different levels kiddos love this area all over the climbing net and the slides and it goes all the way down too all right so here's a fun spot in the aft of the ship we have the wonder playscape along with the basketball court but this is right where the zip line goes over but we're looking down into the boardwalk and the beautiful sign of wonder of the seas and then those are central park balconies that we're looking at as well so uh, people always ask though too about those balconies if it's very loud and i have to say that the doors are very properly uh capable of blocking out the sound and so you don't have a big obtrusion of you know noise that is you know bothersome for that so that's very good in that regard and so we have the basketball court where they'll play games with different kids clubs or just you know free for all in a sense or different like dodgeball sections so you can look out for the cruise compass for those and then we have the flow rider so much fun so you'll have to check out that out for different times where they have uh, boogie boarding on your knees or stand up boarding as well and I do believe that they make you do uh, knee boarding first and then they will see about uh, kind of graduating you up until uh, standing and this is where you can sign the waiver for that get your little wristband and then of course the wipeout bar and then priorities for the star class they do get exclusive for the ultimate abyss and then you put your feet into the pocket of those slides and then you like if you have any phones or cameras or things like that it goes out into the pocket by your feet as well and you hold on to the handles as you go on down pretty cool so really interestingly as well is the arcade is on this space just off of el loco fresh and you can see that uh it's a different kind of setup than some other ships here as it's not like totally tucked into the adventure ocean or kids cup space but you can load up your c pass card uh, through one of those vending machines and put money on board to play all of the games 
And with the arcade, it's about $1.50 to $2 per game to play. So now this is deck 16 and we are aft on the starboard side. So we'll move on word and show you even more of the ship as we make our way down. All right, so now we're in the solarium. This is a great area. So many loungers here. You can see there's actually three different rows of loungers and uh, we are enclosed. It's not stifling hot uh, in this area here. It's actually nice because it provides some good uh, shade through this area. Check out this gorilla up here. How funny. <laughs> and then we have one of the whirlpools. You can take a little dip in and we'll look on down as well. It's huge, this area. So tons of comfy seating and lounges and then in the water waiting in this pool as well. And it has the clear glass uh, paneling here too so you can kind of see and they can see your legs in this pool and lots of seating as well and then the bar and then that's where we just were up top through there looking down from hooked and then inside is the solarium bistro some giraffes our little animal friends keeping us company here in the solarium so two floors to the solarium very large, lots of seating. So gonna be a fun spot to hang out in on a sea day, people will relax, grab a book, take a nap here and enjoy. Here in the solarium, we also have a cantilevered whirlpool with two TVs. So you'll see different games or perhaps, you know, the daily talk with the cruise director telling you about onboard activities here, but it's uh, glass as well. So kind of cool that it uh, hangs over and you can enjoy from here. The Solarium Bistro. Alrighty, now we are in the Solarium Bistro here. Let's take a look. So this is basically a smaller hybrid version of the Windjammer here. Still your burgers, good fixings options pasta as well. Your coffees, your teas are included in your cruise fare. And then your healthier salad options, cheeses, great options here. And a little bit of charcuterie as well. Some fresh veggie and rice, roasted potatoes with rosemary, beef as well and mashed potatoes, good options, and then they also have a dessert bar. So this area is a little bit uh, less crowded than the Windjammer, a nice place to grab a spot to enjoy a treat. All right, so now we are at the View Bar here. So a great spot to enjoy. It's actually very popular. You can come here for a nice little beverage during sail away. There's this beautiful piece here above to kind of give you some shade and enjoy. And it's somewhat, you know, cantilevered in this sense. So you can get some good views of what's happening. And spoiler, this is actually one of those like happy accidents. It was supposed to be a hot tub uh, another cantilevered hot tub in this area, but uh, didn't work out that way. So they turned it into a bar and it's a happy accident because it's a very popular spot. People love to hang out here and enjoy in this space. So kind of cool. Let me know if you would prefer the bar or another hot tub. So this is where the water slides get out here. And then we have the baby splash area. So this area is sectioned off. So if you have any kiddos in diapers, this is where they're requested to play and to splash and to hang out. And then once they've graduated out of their diapers and they're potty trained, they can play in the full splash away bay in this section here, which has the slides for them to enjoy. Here is the popular lime and coconut bar as well. So you can get your 
rum drinks, your actual lime and coconut is rum, coconut milk, coconut syrup, guava syrup, and lime juice there. Gombe Smash is another popular one with the Kraken rum, spiced rum. So you have your life jackets, you also have your pool towels as well, which you can uh, use with your C-Pass card to rent those out. The life jackets, you don't need your C-Pass card to use. Uh, just make sure you return those towels by the end of your cruise, otherwise you will get charged for that. And then you can see as well that we have another look at the Central Park. So these are Central Park balconies and of course I do have a room tour of a Central Park balcony. So if you want to see what that looks like, be sure to check out the entire Wonder of the Seas playlist and I can share that with you along with some sweets in other rooms and then sprinkles to satisfy your sweet tooth. You can check that out and grab an ice cream cone. So we're gonna keep on walking on over to the other side. And we have the other half of the lemon coconut as well. And we'll walk on down. So now we've actually made it over to the port side and we are going to be walking through the smoking section. So you can see that the tables and the chairs actually have ashtrays. So uh, on every ship, it's the port section of the ship that has the uh, smoking section. This is actually the starboard section of the uh, wonder here is the smoking section. So starboard side for the smoking section. And you're next to this other pool and this is one of the pools that will have some of the entertainment throughout your cruise, like belly flop contests in this one, or perhaps hairy chest competition over in that pool over there. Be on the lookout for astronauts with hearts throughout your cruise as well in this like stadium style seating here. Pretty cool to see that little guy with the heart. And then you can move on over to this side. You have the showers as well, the cool off throughout your cruise. And then those little waiting areas, it's just a couple inches. And then you have this hot tub as well, which is cool because you can see through it and see that that is, uh, see their legs. And then another lime and coconut extension of that bar up there. Keep on moving through. So love the little uh, walk-in area into the Windjammer Marketplace, the buffet. We'll show you some of the food options here in this area. It's broken up into sections. So our first section is the bakery here. So we have your breads, your cheeses. It is a very large wind jammer. We have different sections. Again, this is fresh from the garden. So you have your salad bar as well. If you like them to make any pastas for you, you can add all of this into the penny or the spaghetti. Also some dessert favorites. Uh, this dessert is a little bit similar to what we saw in the Solarium Bistro some cookies oh sweet treats look at that open jelly uh, sandwiches that's very cute sausage roll uh, very kid friendly stuff on the lower section carving stations rice veggies lots of different options for you along with potato wedges so seating here in the Windjammer actually goes all the way back and kind of loops around here. So buffet on each side. So you'll see some of the same foods start to pop up and also uh, seating all around. So you can find different sides and then all of the options for you. Now we've made it to the Mason Jar. Oh, such a treat here on this ship. So you can enjoy some really incredible craft cocktails here from the Mason Jar. Go ahead and use that uh, Deluxe Beverage Package. Try out peanut butter whiskey, things of that sort here. And then enjoy live music from the Country Crew Trio. Hang out in the rocking chairs, enjoy the music. 
even if you aren't dining, you can come in and grab a drink and enjoy this space. So that's kind of cool. The one thing with the mason jar is they actually have options for a brunch and a dinner option with different menus. So if that interests you and you're looking to try all of the food, you can join for either of the two and you might find that you're able to get a reservation for one or the other with that. So very popular Southern style. carpet here. Super cute. It looks like a little goal. Really big open space for them to play and the bathrooms as well. And then they have, let's see, TVs, PlayStations. Oh, how cool. These touch screens, they're playing with one right now. Play the games. Barnacle Briggs. <laughs> That's cool. And then bathrooms over here as well. And then this side is the workshop. So they have loads of arts and crafts. And then they have the foosballs, tables, and the easels separating the space here. But they'll open it up for certain times when they have this area, arena. That's what they call it, six to... 12. Deck 14 aft here is the card room. Okay, so here is the card room here. We have different games as well. Checkers and chess. Nice area. You can hang out. Good tables to do some cards and enjoy all of the ship here. And kind of enjoy the space. Don't see many outlets though in case you're looking to bring your laptop you'll have to have a good battery on your laptop. Now we are on deck 12 aft ready for Wonderland the imaginative cuisine. Something that's kind of fun here is that in the elevator bays even before you get into the restaurant you could see some of the theming so you see the teacups on the elevator doors of course some really cool uh, designs here as you go up and down the elevator but uh, 10 six there a little rose cards on the other one so it's just on that floor here for wonderland that you have that on the glass paneling of the elevators and those dragons so we'll walk on through into wonderland and take a look of course we got to walk on through the door here as we walk on into the alice and wonder land themed restaurant so beautiful space here if you ever dine in wonderland you know that you want to come with an open mind so if you haven't dined before i actually recently just had my first experience dining in wonderland and it was so cool definitely come with an open mind as things have kind of like unique names and different spins on food so if you're a picky eater i still think you should try it and uh, really kind of cool. They do have uh, an alternative if you are a vegetarian for uh, some of the entrees and things of that sort. So great space. And you have some good window seats that look on into the boardwalk. The bar has so many options as well for different type of cocktails. And guess what? So many of them come with cotton candy on them so if you're a cotton candy fan you can order quite a few fun drinks if you're looking for some evening entertainment you can head into music hall here so this is a two floor venue and pretty darn cool as this space has a lot to offer so you have pool tables up in this area, it's lounge seating and a area for you to kind of just like 
enjoy up here. They'll have wait staff and bar staff uh, servicing this area when uh, live music is playing. They'll come up and you know take your orders, but there's not a bar up here to go up to the bar and grab your drink. There is the bar down here though for you to grab your beverages and then they have the bands play here and in you know kind of encompasses the whole space and a dance floor so it gets kind of lively and fun in the evening here in this space which is really cool so and of course you can see wonder of the seas popping through on this windows there as well so i like hanging out in here in the evenings for some live music here is Central Park. Now this is an incredible area. So if you're unfamiliar with any of the Central Parks on any of the Oasis class ship, all of the greenery here is real, live greenery. So, uh, so many different plants. The specs on it are incredible with, uh, you know, the upkeep here. They have gardeners that look after all of this, but our first stop is going to be Chops Grill, which is of course, Royal Caribbean's signature a steakhouse here and you can see it is a great spot for you to dine. They have El Fresco dining as well outside and then large space here to enjoy a nice juicy filet. They're open for lunch, also open for dinner. So if you're interested in that, you can make your reservations for this specialty dining restaurant. One of my faves when I cruise. And here's a brief look at the menu. I like to get the jumbo crab cake and the filet. Mac and cheese is good as well. And you know what? Those cheese tater tots are scrumptious as well. Valencia devoured those little tater tots. Very tasty. Now here we are in 150 Central Park, just across the way on the boardwalk from the steakhouse chops grill but this restaurant is different i feel like it's the most elevated restaurant on the entire ship here it is very fancy you could enjoy some really tasty foods here i recommend that you get the fried cheesecake for dessert that's a must if you dine here as well they also will come around with a cheese cart and they also make salad right at your table and they even have its own signature drink that you can order as well uh, in this space for just this restaurant so here is trellis bar spot where you can grab some beverages right on central park here take a look another astronaut with a little heart off in the corner here and if you're looking and you can see this glass here this is actually enclosed for uh, looking on down into the royal promenade and that glass there that we passed is the rising tide bar which is on the bottom floor right now so we'll see that from the other area but now we're coming up on to central park Central Park is a great spot for you to maybe grab some breakfast or lunch. I believe they do close for dinner, but you can get some quick grab and goes with your fruits, your sandwiches, good options for you. The beef on Kamalwick bread is absolutely scrumptious as well and other little bites that are very tasty salads made to order here and then seating inside and outside for you to grab a bite so it's a very convenient stop now we have giovanni's this restaurant is a nice sit down experience and you can enjoy the wine bar here indoor outdoor seating here Central Park also has Epi and Regalia for shopping. So some finer stores here as well. Now we are on deck six here. We have the loyalty desk to one side, shore excursions here as well, and focus gallery. But let's take a look at the schooner bar here. So another great entertainment 
nighttime lively spot here. The schooner bar is actually getting a brand new menu that you can see roll out fleet wide. They do keep some familiar favorites like the lavender daiquiri that is ever so popular, but some new drinks for you to enjoy here throughout the schooner bar. And you can enjoy the live piano, sing along, so fun. And then this is another great spot to catch the balloon drop from uh, the first night parties, kind of have an up view of all the happenings down below as well and grab a drink at the bar. So good stuff, a good spot to hang out. I enjoy this area and every ship has to have a schooner bar. Definitely a popular area and a must within the Royal Caribbean fleet. So this is the photo gallery and you can swipe your CPAS card to view all the photos that you took throughout your vacation. So that's really fun to you know, capture it that way if you are taking your photos on the gangway, taking your photos at the dining room, you wanna make sure that you check those out before the end of the cruise so that you can see if it's anything worth you going home with. So if you were ever wondering about the carousel here, hand carved cedar wood for the horses here. And so much fun, a uh, kid's paradise here. We have the dog house here, so you can get some bratwurst, you can get sauerkraut, you can get some uh, hot dogs, cheddar bratwurst, some uh, treats for you. If you have a sweet tooth, you're in luck because there is a sugar beach on the boardwalk here. So a little candy paradise here. And they also have ice cream here too, which is uh, very yummy and all of the kids love that for sure. So that is fantastic. Over on the other side of the carousel, which by the way, the carousel is completely included in your cruise. So your kiddos can look forward to riding that as many times as they like all cruise along and playmakers with loads of TV screens to enjoy the games. They'll have schedules posted of different games that you might want to catch and if they're covering it throughout, if you're really into hockey or football and want to make sure that you don't miss it. Uh, they do have food here, pub type of food. The nachos are fabulous and impossible burger is very good. Here's a look at the menu as well and then the bar truffle burger oh my goodness yum makes me hungry uh, but you can see that kind of a lively joint with them playing uh, the games as well right across is Johnny Rockets Johnny Rockets is special because this is a fun dining establishment that they will sing to you you can enjoy you know those fresh uh crinkle cut fries, all of the tasty milkshakes as well. They'll sing, they'll dance to you, and then uh, you can enjoy some, some of the dancing, which is really fun. If you wanna enjoy Johnny Rockets, this is a additional fee, but breakfast is included, which is really cool. So if you wanna come on over for a breakfast sandwich, that will be uh, available for you. The kids love this area here as there is the uh, climbing area. And then this is where the ultimate abyss ends. So remember when we stared at the face of the ultimate abyss way up at the top, it comes all the way down and you can see this man just got off with his backpack and cause you can put all that stuff down at the bottom as you ride on through. So here we have the rock climbing wall as well on each side. So one here, and then on the other side of the aqua theater, another rock climbing wall. These rooms are actually aqua suites up here. So you can have really incredible views of the aqua theater and the aqua show that happens a couple times throughout your cruise. So the aqua show is different on every uh, Royal Caribbean ship here in the aft of the ship. It's, qu it's quite the experience. I love the aqua shows. I think they're so different and so unique because 
If you haven't seen one, they're jumping from way up high from these different platforms, even up here, spoiler alert, and then also slack lines, different things that really are just so entertaining and keeping your attention going. And all of this retracts and it moves to different levels throughout the show. So they're diving into the pool. It's so much fun. So here is the fitness center, which wraps around loads of machines, different free weights, different uh, ellipticals, different, different machines. And then we have a stretching area. This stairs actually down here leads you to the outdoor jogging track. And then you have another stretching area right here. Really nice for this area. And then all of your free weights. So you can come work out and enjoy the space. Okay, so here is the relaxing relaxation room prior to your treatments. Hang out in there, fill out your waiver. Here is the heated loungers. When you touch it, it's very warm, very nice and relaxing. They have uh, eucalyptus through the uh, scents. This is tropical rain shower in this one. And then we have a dry heat chamber along with steam room chamber and then another tropical rain shower. And we can actually take a peek inside the dry heat chamber. Ooh, yes. Warm and fogging up the camera. Love it. Feels good though and take a peek in the aroma steam chamber as well. Oh yes. Take a nice deep breath as you breathe in from there. So now we're inside one of the bathing suites. This is pretty cool. So if you're looking for one of those treatments, this is what the room looks like here. It's dark right now, but it's part of the ambiance setting up. So very, very cool. And then so here is the couples area if you're looking to do a massage with your partner here as well nice rooms for the massage so inside the spa and fitness center they do have fitness classes as well yoga spin classes but they're about twenty dollars and you require a reservation to sign up for those to participate now we are all the way forward in the royal theater here so this theater is large. We have lots of seating all around here to enjoy the shows, different type of performances that you can enjoy throughout your cruise here. And I don't really think there's that many uh, bad seats here because it's pretty good seats all around actually. Very uh, few poles, so you can really enjoy all of the action happening here and comfy seating with the cup holders too, which is convenient. So you can bring in your beverages and you have somewhere to put them as you enjoy the show. Now we are on the Royal Promenade here right next to Starbucks and Spotlight Karaoke, which we will jump on in. So if you're a karaoke fan, you can belt it out here, have some fun, big nice bar here and the stage over here you can sing your favorite tunes and hits very popular spot in the evening they have karaoke uh, almost every single night I believe so very very fun and here we are in Bolero's which is your Latin inspired bar here so you can see the bar different seating areas and then you'll have uh, musicians playing a band playing throughout the cruise so you can have a little uh, dance party here and enjoy some of the latin tunes which is very very fun all kind of havana styled here grab a mojito with the boleros cocktails and then starbucks is not included in your beverage package but you can grab some of your favorite brew the shop you have different royal caribbean merchandise that you want to pick up some swag and wear here as well. Don't forget to get your discount for your crown and anchor with the logo merchandise over there. And then we have Solera for some of your duty free port merchants as well here. So here is the pub 
which is a great spot as well in the evening for more live music. So you can hang out, grab a ale here, and uh, they have a really good menu actually. Here it is. So you can have, I actually had the Rise and Shine uh, last cruise. So that's good, depending on what you like here. And some, of course, non-alcoholic beverages as well. Across the way is Sorrento's, who's up for some pizza. So they have different type of slices, your American, Canadian bacon, pepperoni, cheese as well made fresh for you. They do have gluten-free available upon request for you. And then they also have the freestyle uh, Coke machines here that you can refill with your uh, cups. So those cups that I was mentioning are through the soda package. So you do need those specific cups to activate those Coke machines. And then here we have the next cruise desk. And we also have the cafe promenade for your coffees included along with your specialty coffees as well. So this is where you can grab Starbucks that will be included in your uh, fare. Or this is actually Starbucks that will be included in your deluxe beverage package. And then you have cookies, snacks. This coffee is included here, this drip and water, some little treats. And then right next to Cafe Promenade here, we have guest services. If you have any questions, they can help you throughout your cruise. Also get the cruise compass. So of course, if you want additional cruise compasses or menus, even you can always head to my website at Alana Zignano. But now we're headed over to the Rising Tide Bar, which is really fun because this is an experience where you can grab a drink and sit down, take in all the scenery. You see the balloons for this evening's party. And that's where you head on up to deck number eight at the Central Park, but hang out and enjoy and grab a drink at the bar right on the rising tide and it moves. So a lot of fun to experience at least once during your cruise. And if you're ever curious about the departures, they have a schedule for you so you know the next time that you can experience it. Now the rising tide bar is directly across from the Bionic Bar, another spot watering hole where you can grab a drink here, but robots are going to be making your drink. And of course you can have any of the perfectly curated cocktails Tales, but you can also make your own on the little tablets that they will have on the chairs and you know be your own bartender and see it come to life these screens will tell you how long the wait time is to order your drinks and also what are the most popular drinks per age group so that's kind of fun taking in all of those demographics but then you just scan your cpass card to release your drink and you're good to go now we're coming into the main dining room, which is actually three floors. I absolutely love the decor of the main dining room, the pops of the colors of the red, the lighting here, and the decor is beautiful. Check out the incredible chandelier and looking down into the different floors. So you'll dine on a different floor depending on what dining time you have. If you're having early dining, late dining, or anytime dining, meaning that you drop in and wait to be seated so you can see some people enjoying some lunch right now. And that I believe is the key lunch program that they're enjoying right now. But also they'll be open for lunch on sea days or brunch on sea days as well for you to dine in and you can enjoy uh, the same menu throughout as well depending on where you're seating and then of course it rotates and changes throughout the day throughout the cruise each night so if you're curious about the new menus here on Royal Caribbean they actually change them somewhat frequently or actually somewhat recently I should say I do have those posted on my website which you can check out here actually each night is different. This is the welcome aboard. There's a French night, a royal night, and you can look at those uh, throughout to figure out what you would like to eat. All of the different nights will be posted on my website at alanazingano.com for you to take a look at. 
Here is Azumi Hibachi and Sushi. Here in this restaurant, you have Sushi Side on here. They make all of the sushi and so yummy. Um, also, you can grab lunch here too if you're just looking for some sushi rolls. And then here is the hibachi table here. So you can see there's one bigger one and one small one here. So hibachi is very popular. Make sure you come and make your reservations early for your specialty dining as it will fill up and you want to make sure that you can enjoy all of those throughout the cruise very fun lively to see them cook up all the food in front of you here we are deck four the casino so the casino is actually really big we have the cashier cage to the one side we have the casino bar here as well this bar is uh always kind of going to be one of the bars that stay open the latest on your cruise so if you're looking for some of those uh you know late beverages in the evening after certain other venues close we're walking through a lot of the table games and some of the slot machines as well so you can take a look and see if you see any of your favorite games to play throughout this space and right now the machines are off because the ship is docked in port uh, but we do have as well some little like uh, treat areas where you can see that they will put up some snacks and then different like host areas for questions from Casino Royale. And then it looks like some high roller uh, tables here as well. Connected to the casino is the art gallery as you walk on through for Park West. If you're interested in the different art auctions, you can check those out. But we'll head into Studio B, which is the ice rink on board. So you can expect to see different ice shows throughout the cruise. So here we are at Studio B, the ice rink. You can catch all of the ice shows here a couple times throughout your cruise. You can look forward to seeing all of the productions here. When they do not have a ice show production, you can look out for ice skating yourself. If you're looking to lace up and enjoy some of the ice yourself, you can go ahead and rent the skates that's included really kind of fun to enjoy that and they have it sectioned up by times so you can look out for that I've even seen actually it specifically open for certain age groups of the kids clubs as well for them to kind of do their little takeover for a certain area so really really fun I super enjoy ice shows I encourage you to check it out once you reach up the level uh, through the crown and anchor loyalty program once you hit diamond you can enjoy the diamond lounge so you have to reach so many points and then there's seating and chairs in there for you and also coffee 24 7 and then some light bites for you to enjoy here we are in the attic this is where you can enjoy the comedy show now you want to make sure that you get your reservations for the comedy show uh, as soon as you know when you want to attend because obviously it's limited seating in this space but they have the bar different seatings comedians on up there this also is an area where you can see nightlife dancing uh, but the comedy shows are my absolute uh, fave activity really really fun and then they have different screens kind of throughout so you can catch the show when it gets full if you are kind of situated farther back now across from the attic is a non-smoking section of the theater. So what's really cool is because they have the different tables here and then they also have the slot machines available. So you, uh, if you want to be in the non-smoking section, uh, you know, smells great in here, of course. So a great option for you. Entrance into Royal Theater, deck four here, forward. Now the theater is two floors, so you can go up or down for seating. Well friends, there you had it. We've made it through all of the wonder of the seas. I hope you enjoyed this ship tour. If you did, be sure to hit the thumbs up. Check out this playlist right here for more videos from the wonder of the seas. 
And of course, if you need any assistance booking, head over to my website, alanazagano.com. Happy to send you along to get you some great advice, tips, discounts, deals, onboard credits. You are in good hands. So friends, thanks so much. Until next time, ciao for now.